I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the Committee to Re-Elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley of Ashley Insurance, where we're building a community of great insurance products and great people. What does that mean? Well, as a client of ours, you'll enjoy perks like quick quotes and personalized policies. We shop for the best prices across multiple companies. And most importantly, if something bad happens, you call our team and speak directly with us. So join our insurance community today. Call 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you close and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me thank you. Board Depew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. This preventive dental care tip comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Dental professionals recommend brushing twice a day, every day, with a fluoride toothpaste for two minutes and flossing once a day, every day as well. This easy, affordable preventive dental care routine can save you money by promoting good dental health and preventing costly dental treatment. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your dental appointment. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Rome County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. 
Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. We have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. d and Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call d and for your next service appointment. d and Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and closed on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivb.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License 055775. This is Ashton Rhodes, Chronic Care Manager at Roan County Family Healthcare. Are you struggling to control your blood pressure, lower your A1C, or manage other chronic health conditions? Do you ever feel overwhelmed or unsure after an office visit and need some extra help? If that's you, we can help. Roan County Family Healthcare is now providing chronic care management services for qualifying patients. By enrolling in our services, you will receive one-on-one -on -one consultations, an individualized comprehensive care plan, education, monthly check-ins, and more. All of this will allow you access to your care team easily for questions, concerns, or follow-up. So are you ready to team up and find a healthier version of you? Give me a call at 304-927-8139. My office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Let me help you manage your chronic conditions. Roan County Family Healthcare, healthcare for the entire family. Rhodes Auto Service in beautiful downtown Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, is a full-service auto center providing you with AC, front end and four wheel alignment, tires, exhaust systems, to basic oil changes and state inspections, and full electrical diagnostic service. Our highly trained technicians with over 40 years of experience between them, Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia. 304 655 6765. And be sure to check out our Facebook page. Hi folks, here at Hardman's, we are a full-service building material and hardware store. We have it all, from nuts and bolts, to plumbing, electrical, best-look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best-look paint is a sure win to brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardman's, our family serving yours since 1907. Builder Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildress is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. 
Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at hildresupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all Roan County athletes. It's that time of year, money back from Uncle Sam, so make every dollar count and take the short drive to Honest Fred's Flooring. We have three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, and Marietta. You'll find our showrooms fully stocked with the latest trends in flooring, carpet, vinyl, hardwood, ceramic tile, and the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We install everything we sell and financing is available, so come see us at one of our convenient locations or check us out on the web at honestfred.com. Now at Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service for a limited time, Motorcraft Complete Brake Service, $209 or less per axle price on most vehicles. Includes brake pads or shoes, machining rotors or drums, and labor. Only need brake pads? Motorcraft brake pads installed for $129 or less per axle price. Exclusions apply on both offers. Taxes extra. The dealer for details. Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service, Ripley Road, Spencer. Hurry. Offer ends March 30th. When you find yourself faced with a legal issue, the steps you take next can literally impact the rest of your life. Hiring the right attorney is one of the most important decisions you'll make. At Joel Baker Law Office, we understand the importance of providing prompt, competent, and honest legal representation. Call or text our office today to schedule a consultation, 304-500-9238. As someone who played high school sports, I was able to learn the importance of hard work and being dedicated to your job. And these lessons are why it is important that we support high school athletes. I have continued to apply these lessons to my career as a prosecuting attorney for the last 15 years. And they are the same lessons, hard work and dedication that I will use every day as a circuit judge. In 2024, vote Josh Downing for circuit judge in Division Three. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Downing, Aaron M. Nichols, treasurer. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh. I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead. As long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just the start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. Name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie Insurance Agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town, McDonald's in Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown, great prices every day, McDonald's in Spencer. I'm loving it and so will you. Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliance, the store that has it all. From quality furniture, Lazy Boy, Serta, Cat Napper, appliances, Maytag, Whirlpool, Amana, KitchenAid. And Macintosh offers setup and removal. Power equipment, Echo, Troy Built, and in house service. Hardware, tools, paint, plumbing, electrical, pipes, and fittings. Macintosh Hardware and Appliance, 204 Market Street in Spencer. 
304-927-2700. Find us on Facebook for more great deals. Hey guys, this is Shannon from Miller Steels and Deals. We have all your shopping needs from the bedroom to the kitchen, bathroom, and laundry room. We've got you covered. Looking for furniture or even maybe a gift card? Come on by Miller Steels and Deals on Mount Zion Ridge in the Old Armory Building. Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5, for the best prices around. Give us a call, 304-804-6006. Mini Hamilton is excited to announce the opening of our Women and Maternal Care Services in Glenville. I'm Corey Grog. I'm a women's health and family nurse practitioner with Mini Hamilton Health System. We offer childbirth education classes and breastfeeding and postpartum support. Along with pre- and postnatal care, our team sees patients from birth throughout the lifespan. We are your partner in health today, tomorrow, and for life. Please call the Glenville office for more information at 304-462-7322. Health system, better For the next few seconds, picture yourself retired. What do you see? What sounds do you hear? How do you feel? However you picture your retirement, planning early is the best way to make it happen. And State Farm Agent Norman L. Daniels is here in Spencer to help. He can chat with you about the kind of retirement that you want and then help you find the best ways to save for it. A little today can add up to a lot tomorrow. So get started now. Call State Farm Agent Norman L. Daniels and Spencer at 304-927-5680 and picture yourself happy. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, just give our office a call and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Tapers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street and Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. Your bank shouldn't make you feel like you're on an assembly line. It's about you, your family, your future. That's why you're going to feel good about Polka Valley Bank. Because people have been feeling good about us for over 100 years. Bottom line, we have all the services of a big bank, but we're local. At Polka Valley Bank, our decision-making is local. Our people get to know you and call you by name. It's a relationship with a bank that you can feel good about. See us online at polkavalleybank.com. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Heart disease affects so many families in our community. That's why Roan General Hospital has made expert cardiology services readily accessible close to home. From prevention and education to state-of-the-art diagnostic testing to treatment and comprehensive rehabilitation, ask your primary care provider for a referral today. Roan General Hospital, care you can trust close to home. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WVRC 104.7 FM's live streaming coverage of Raider baseball action. We welcome you in from an overcast skied evening here at the Leo Hines Memorial Field on the campus of Roan County High School as we prepare for Little Kanawha Conference East matchup between Roan County and Gilmer County. The Raiders come in with an overall record of just two and five. They have fallen victim to a lot of recent cancellations going back to early last week. Looking to get back on track after a couple of losses in a row, a game in which they played against the number one team at the time in Class AA in Charleston Catholic and battled with the Irish before falling in defeat to that one. And after that, 
They have had no games until right now, and we hope that the skies hold off for us here this afternoon. If so, we'll get a game in here between Roan County and one of the best teams in the LKC Conference this year. Ten and two are the Titans of Gilmer County High School. They began their season with four straight victories, lost two in a row, one to South Harrison close four to two, and then they lost to Buffalo nine to two. Since then, though, they have reeled off six straight wins, and in those six straight wins, they have scored over 10 runs per game in four of the six, defeating a bunch of good teams this year. So a tall task once again for the Raiders, but if they can play like they did against Charleston Catholic, they may have an afternoon here with Roan County staying close to a very good program. We appreciate everyone joining us on our streaming services here on YouTube and Facebook alongside the rest of the crew. So will be with us here once again this evening, working the OBS software and the graphics, the scoreboard for us. I'm joined tonight by my special guest color analyst in George Allen, and I am Andrew Miller, ready to bring you guys the action here. George, your first opportunity to watch this Rome County team. Of course, they have struggled on the scoreboard as far as just two wins on the year, but most recently they have played very tough against a couple of very good opponents. Exactly, and, you know, you and I have tried to do this for several years now, and it, it finally came to light. But, uh, you know, I was watching them warm up. Uh, they look like they got a little pep in their step today. So, There's a Roan County team that likes to test themselves and play exactly. good teams. Unfortunately for the Raiders, they'll be down one of their senior starters in Cam Ash today. <laughs> Ash with a uh, freak accident yesterday to his uh, ankle heel area, so he will not be in action tonight. So Roan County will shift their defense a bit in his absence. They'll also move their lineup a bit in his absence at the plate. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for both of these teams. First off, for the visiting Titans of Gilmer County High School, leading off at shortstop today will be Brody Brockelman, batting second and playing second base will be Colton Holbert, batting third out in center field is Colton Hall, batting cleanup at first base is Bryant Yoke, batting fifth, Dane Murphy will be behind home plate as the catcher. Batting sixth, the third baseman is Chris Junkins. Batting seventh, the pitcher today on the bump for Gilmer is Jacob Stewart. Batting eighth will be the right fielder Lex Grog. And rounding out the lineup, hitting ninth over in left field is Braylon Menser for Rome County. Leading off again and probably the hottest hitter on Roan County's team for the first half of the season is Carter Kinder. He'll bat first. He'll be behind home plate today as the catcher. Batting second will be Cam Cumston. He'll be at shortstop. Batting third, Preston Green will be in his familiar second base position. Cleanup hitter and first baseman for Roan County is Noah Jett. Batting fifth out in center field is Jacob Greathouse. Batting sixth will be the right fielder, Jeb Painter. Batting seventh over at third base is Carson Casto. Batting eighth. Out in left field, getting a rare start here is the senior, Sawyer Hunt. And on the bump today, hitting ninth is the pitcher, Gage Saunders. Those are your two lineups as Gilmer County finishes up their infield warmups. We'll break away for the coaches meeting at home plate with the umpires. And we'll come back with the first pitch, Roan County and Gilmer County here from Roan County High School. Ridge Top Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, teramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304 908 20 304-924-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County Athletics. Let's go Raiders! Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you could store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear. Store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor. Keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment. Make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 301. 
304-421-3091 or visit us at RhoneSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. Come into Stats Pharmacy where our patient's good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy, located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. My drug breaks won't work. And I can't get to work. So I call him Starchers, the best place for parts. They have what I needed at a price out of life. Now my truck's stopping quickly and everything's all right. That's right. Willard Starchers has the parts that you need and the quality cell staff to help you get it fixed. Willard Starchers, the best place for parts and the best staff to help you. That's very important. Dial 927-2520. Open seven days a week. Willard Starchers. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley from Ashley Insurance. Let's talk life insurance. It's not just about numbers, it's about peace of mind. Picture this, would your family be able to continue on financially if you weren't there? Life insurance can be the answer, and our team is ready to help you. We've got affordable coverage and expert guidance because your peace of mind is our priority. So don't wait for the unexpected. Call Ashley Insurance at 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you closed and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me thank you. Board Depew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. We welcome you back inside Leo Hines Field, getting set for the top of the first inning. Appreciate everyone joining us. Our entire crew here, Swalby, working the graphics and the scoreboard for us. My brand new color analyst is George Allen. I'm Andrew Miller. Let's set the defense. Gage Saunders, the senior on the bump. His battery mate behind on plate, Carter Kinder. Noah Jett at first, Preston Green at second, Cam Cumpson at short, Carson Castro at third. Sawyer Hunt in left, center fielder is Jacob Greathouse, and in right is Jeb Painter, and wasting zero time in the top of the first inning, Brody Brockelman takes the first pitch, an inside fastball, and rips it into the left field. 
Grass for the opening single. Rockman turning on that one nicely. This is a very good offense for Gilmer County again. Double figures in four of their last six contests. They're going to send Brockelman immediately. The throw down by Kinder is offline. And Brockelman sliding in safely with the stolen base. Yeah, he didn't waste any time. He just got up there and knocked the cover off of it. Runner in scoring position immediately in the top of the first inning for Colton Holbert, the second baseman. Looked on at the first pitch outside the zone as Saunders fires this time inside. 2 and 0 oh the count. An overcast sky evening here from Rome County High School, hoping that the rain holds off. Saunders rocks and fires, called strike at the numbers. Fighting back with a strike, two and one the count. Holbert followed by Colton Hall. Hitters one, two, three for the Titans. Two one delivery. That gets through the wickets. Brockelman will head to third on the pass ball. Saunders all the way back a couple of weeks ago in the first couple of games of the season, the, the last time and the only time we have gotten to see the senior. Struggled with that great breaking pitch that he has in a loss early in the season. 3-1 delivery called strike on the inside corner. And Holbert thought he was headed to first, George, but yeah. the, <laughs> the umpire said, nope, wait a second. No, that was a pretty pitch right there. Three and two, the count. Payoff pitch from Saunders missing low, and this time Holbert will head to first on the base on balls. That will bring up Colton Hall, the center fielder. <clears throat> well, Saunders not necessarily known as an overpowering pitcher, but he looks like he's got a little bit of fire behind his fastballs. He's yet to really deliver on those really nasty breaking pitches that he has. Runners at the corners. They will send the runner down immediately. Holbert's faking the throw is Kinder behind the plate. And a pair of ducks on the pond in the top of the first for Colton Hall. Colton Hall. 1-0 the count. Saunders, this one one hops the catcher. Great play behind the plate. Kinder just kept enough in front of him. Saunders going to try to work out of an early jam top first. 2 0 oh, the count to Hall, the cleanup hitter, Bryant Yoke on the on deck circle. Fastball just edging away from the plate. Three-zero pitch, nice comeback pitch as Saunders went on that inside corner to the lefty. Saunders wasting little time back to the stretch, swing and a foul ball, and Gage Saunders fighting back here, loading the count full at three and two to Colton Hall. Payoff pitch, swing and a there miss. We go. Little tail on the outside to the lefty, and that was a nice little pitch that had some tail away. <laughs> Saunders able to fight back and earn the strikeout. One out, second and third, but that'll bring up the cleanup hitter and first baseman, Bryant Yoke. That name's familiar to Roan County uh, faithful. We saw this young man last year in a different uniform. He was wearing the red and white of Calhoun County High School. Exactly. Played a little shortstop and came in in relief, and I don't think anybody even swung the bat against him. 
<laughs> One and know the count. Ooh, just about a call strike instead. I heard the other day that he had signed with WVU. He has got that commitment for a, a couple of years. It had been a verbal, but now he is headed to Morgantown. 2-0 pitch, slow and away. That gets away from Kinder. He'll slide back to it. The throw to the plate, though, not in time as Brockelman looked like he may have twisted, twisted the something. ankle. He will slide in safely, though, for the first run of the ball game here in the top of the inning. 3-0 count to Lena Pitter, Bryant Yoke. See if he's got the green light with the 3-0 counts. Holbert moving on to third on the pass ball. 3-0 pitch. He did not have the green lights. <laughs> and he thought he was headed to first. Saunders, a little grit here to him on two 3 0 counts. That one, though, gets high and away, and that will send Yoke to first, second base on ball issued of the inning. Dane Murphy, the catcher, coming to the plate. Runners at the corners. Dane Murphy. First pitch to Murphy missing upstairs. Kinder giving a look back to third. Thought Holbert might have been off the bag a little bit. Those Holberts in their aggressiveness. Our good buddy Swolby here. They'll send Yoke on the next pitch. That one way upstairs. Very nice play behind the plate by Kinder. Kept that one from getting out of there, I tell you. And if it does get out of there, that's an opportunity. With exactly. Incredibly long and deep <clears throat> backstop here at Leo Hines Memorial Field. Second and third. Now a 3-0 count to Murphy. Chris Junkins in the on-deck circle. Brown County again. Played last Monday. Against Charleston Catholic, have been silenced since because of the weather. 3-0 pitch down Main Street again. <coughs> Saunders fighting back after going behind in the count 3-0. Now we've got the nasty weather brewing here this evening. And now, George, you know the forecast. It doesn't look a whole lot better the rest of the week. Exactly. 3-1 pitch fouled out of play back near the new Spencer Middle School. Now, that is the thing about West Virginia weather in the spring. You just never know what's going to happen. You could miss two weeks' worth of sports. What well, was it a couple of years ago? We went like two weeks. 3-2 pitch and another fight back. Well, that happened to Colton Hall as <clears throat> Saunders went down 3-0, and fought back, make it 3-2, and and got a strikeout. Second out of the inning. Roan County trying to limit the damage here to just one run. Third baseman, Chris Junkins, to the plate. It's a relatively young Gilmer County team. There's four seniors on the roster, a lot of freshmen, and a lot of sophomores in this starting lineup. Maybe just one junior even, two juniors. 1-0 the count to Junkins. Now Saunders misses high and tight. Two zero delivery chopper towards shortstop fielded cleanly by Cumston, and across the diamond for out number three. Well, there are a lot of base runners aboard, but only one of them crossed the plate as Roan County limits it to one in the top of the inning. After half inning of play, it is one nothing Gilmer County. This preventive dental care tip comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Dental professionals recommend brushing twice a day, every day, with a fluoride toothpaste for two minutes and flossing once a day, every day as well. 
This easy, affordable preventive dental care routine can save you money by promoting good dental health and preventing costly dental treatment. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your dental appointment. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Moving into the bottom of inning number one, 1-0 one your score. Gilmer County had threats immediately brewing with runners at second and third and nobody outs. And although Gage Saunders wasn't throwing his best stuff in the first inning, he was able to fight back on a couple 3-0 pitches to grab a couple of strikeouts, one of Colton Hall, one of Dane Murphy. And then he got Junkins to ground out on the 6-3 put out to finish the inning. Just one run on one hit, no errors, and two left on base for Gilmer County. To the bottom half we go. Rome County to the plate for the first time. Carter Kinder, Cam Cumston. And Preston Green, one, two, three, coming up in the order. Let's take a look at the defense for Gilmer County. The sophomore right-hander, Jacob Stewart, gets the start on the hill. Dane Murphy, his battery mate, just a freshman behind home plate. Senior Bryant Yoke at first. Freshman Colton Holbert at second. Shortstop, also a freshman, and Brody Brockelman. Senior at third base is Chris Junkins. Junior left fielder is Braylon Mincer. Senior in center is Colton Hall. And a freshman in right is Lex Grog. Four <laughs> freshman starters, one sophomore, a junior, and three seniors again for head coach Ben Hall. This is a pretty young group. Kinder will dig in first. He has had a flair for the dramatic in the games Rome County has had. First pitch from Stewart on the inside corner. Kinder misses. Now you go back to two weeks ago on a Saturday. Kinder with a walk-off winner on a two-run home run on the bottom of the seventh to defeat Doddridge County. This one launched into the stratosphere right above us. Quickly 0-2 the counts. Kinder followed that up with a 3-for-3 three three day. A couple of doubles. He has been red hot from the plate this year. He's got a good swing. Very aggressive batter, but also disciplined. Does not really swing at a lot of pitches outside of the strike zone. He'll have to protect the plate right now with an 0-2 count. Stewart shakes off the first call, gets what he wants. This one ripped towards second to Holbert, and Holbert across to Yoke for out number one. Well, in that situation with an 0-2 count, you're just trying to protect the plate as Stewart went to that outside corner. Good contact for Kinder. And with his wheels, he can make anything difficult. That will bring up Cam Cumston, the shortstop. This one sent up the middle, and that That's one is through. just going to scoot through. As you could tell, the sound coming off the bat, it was not cleanly hit, George, but no. it was well-placed. Right over their second play, uh, second second base bag here. And just enough steam on it to get it away from Holbert over at second. <laughs> so one out single here in the bottom of the first. Preston Green coming to the plate. Stewart rocks and fires in the dirt. Traditionally, what we've seen out of Roan County and Coach Buddy Huffman this year, they've been aggressive on the base paths. Wonder how aggressive they will get early here. Humpston with a nice lead over at first. They're going to send him. The throw down is accurate, but not in time as Compton slides underneath. Credit Cam with a stolen base to put nice. Roan County's tying run in scoring position. Nice piece of running there. They got a good jump. 
And that was a tough play again for the freshman Murphy behind the plates. Had to dig it out of the dirt first. So a chance now with a 2-0 count for Preston Green. Stewart will give a look back to second base. A little bit of sun peeking through now. Yeah. This one turned on and launched high into the sky. Left center field going back over the head of the center fielder hall. That's going to send Cumston around. The throw will be heading towards third and Preston Green with a tying double and an RBI for Roan County. You could tell that one got a lot of movement off the bats, very cleanly hit. The question was, would Colton Hall get to it or not? Tried that over the shoulder, basket catch, couldn't get to it in time. Yeah. Raiders tie it in the bottom of the first. Noah Jett has an RBI opportunity at second himself. Stewart called strike on the outside corner. Owen won the count. Stewart stepping off the back of the rubber, trying to keep those runners close to second. For a second, like the scoreboard here at Leo Hines Field was possessed. 0-1 pitch, rides high and tight. Well, Rome County scheduled to head to Webster County on Thursday. This one golfed out of the dirt. That one will drop in. They're going to hold green up. And Jet continues the barrage here in the bottom of the first. That's three straight base hits for Roan County. Raiders swinging the bats against the sophomore Jacob Stewart to begin. Jacob Greathouse, the center fielder. Runners at the corners, bottom one, Roan County and Gilmer tied. But the Raiders with some big inning potential right now. First pitch high and tight. Great house turns away from it. One zero delivery. That one way inside gets away. Here comes Green, and he will slide in safely. Actually, he'll just run through it. And Rome County on a wild pitch has taken the lead here in the bottom of the first. Jet headed towards second on that pass ball as well. That just missed Jacob, too. <laughs> it's almost better that it did miss him. That allowed yeah. the wild pitch play. Right now, it's with a 2 0 count. Stewart missing low. Jeb Painter in the on deck circle. Rio pitch, take sign from Coach Buddy Huffman. That one finds the mark down the middle. Still a hitter's count, though, for Great House. Three one delivery. This one turned on and ripped down the line. Foul. Clean contact from Great House. Stewart comes set. Here comes the 3-2 pitch outside. And that's the second time I've seen the home plate umpire flinch on a call or a non-call. And Greathouse 
earns the base on balls. The inning will continue right now. Rome County leading 2-1. Just one outs. First and second for the left-handed hitting right fielder Jeb Painter. Stewart, first pitch missing away. One zero delivery popped up foul territory moving over is Junkins. He'll give a look, but that one will fly out of play. Down even at one and one. A 1-1 one, one pitch, good location on the outside corner, painted nicely by Stewart. 1-2 the count. Now Stewart was looking for that outside corner. That one got away. Even at two apiece. We're in the bottom of the first. Rome County's banged out three base hits, two runs so far. And nice protection of the plate that time by Painter getting a piece. Well, Casto on deck broke the cardinal rule. Ball against the cage, it's your job to go get it as the, <laughs> the next hitter on the plate. 2-2 Two -two delivery inside. And a full count for the second straight batter. Stewart trying to grind through this bottom of the first inning. The 3-2 pitch outside corner, and they got him. That was, again, good location by Stewart. Second out of the inning. That will bring up Carson Casto. Just a freshman for the Raiders. First delivery from Stewart. That was very similar to that last pitch, but with a righty at the plate, looks a little different yeah. riding inside. Murphy wanted that one. In fact, he turned to the home plate umpire. Said, are you sure that's not a strike? 1 0 pitch. Ooh, that one slides way inside, and that's going to clip Casto. And Rome County now with the bases loaded. Jet over at third. Great House moves on to second. Casto at first. A two out base is loaded scenario for. Sawyer Hunt, brand new baseball player this year, decided why not? I'm a senior. I'll go for every sport I can play. Swings Very hard athletic at the first young man. <laughs> yes, he is. Swings hard at that first offering on the inside corner. Oh, one gets away. Here comes Jet. Uh oh. Now Jet says no, 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 no. He's heading back to the third base bag. Now, good decision by Noah as Murphy got back to that one pretty quickly. I would have liked to have seen him try, though. It'd been close. <laughs> Real close. Wiser heads prevailed. 1-1 one, one the count. A pitch swing and a miss. Boy, Hunt's seeing the ball well here. Just got to get some contact. 1-2 counts. Saunders, the number nine hitter in the order, is in the on-deck circle. The one-two pitch down the middle, called strike three, and Stewart gets out of the jam with just a couple, but after one, Rome County takes the lead two to one. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Rome County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. 
We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. We have one in the books officially here from Leo Hines Memorial Field. LKC Eastern Division Action, Roan County at 2-5, and five. Gilmer County at 10-2 and two on the season. Raiders have been marred by not getting games in over the last week and a half. And right now we're hoping the rain holds off so we can get this one in. The Raiders, though, got the bats working early in the bottom of the inning. Three hits banged out, and all three happened by the two, three, and four hitters. Cumston, a single, a stolen base. Preston Green with the RBI double, and then Noah Jett with the single. Before you know it, Rome County with the lead. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and three left on base. They're seeing the ball really well. Well, let's hope they can continue to do that. For Saunders, again, he didn't have his best stuff in that first inning. Worked two counts, 3-0. and oh, Came back and got two strikeouts with him, though. And then got a little help from the defense on a nice put-out 6-3 by Cumston at short. As they gave up just one run. Bottom of the order coming to the plate in the second for Gilmer. The pitcher, Stewart, followed by the right fielder, Grog, and then the left fielder, and Mincer. First pitch missing just away. I still have yet to see Saunders pull out that drop curve that is so nasty. Of course, he has been behind in a lot of counts here so far in the first inning. This one ripped straight up the middle. Great house playing shallow left center, and it's hit just about three feet from him. Great house playing in the right position for the first out. Right place, right time. <laughs> that will bring up the number eight hitter, the right fielder, Lex Grog. Lex Grog. Another one of those freshmen. Saunders fires upstairs on the first offering to Grog. Gilmer County will be in action on Thursday. They'll host Clay County. This one catching a piece into the glove of Kinder. One and one. And even with bad weather with the Sumore Sports Complex and all that turf field, Gilmer's been able to get a few more ga games in this year than most. 1-1, launched into the stratosphere behind second base, moving over. Cumston going to call everybody off. And Cam will squeeze it in the glove for out number two. Saunders just throwing it around the plate and getting some pop outs so far in the second. Braylon Menser, the left fielder. Saunders looking on that outside corner, missing low. Raiders will send 9-1-2 to the plate in the bottom of the second. 1-0 pitch, looking on that outside, missing a little too far. Brockelman in the on-deck circle, the leadoff hitter for the Titans. 2-0 pitch, called, strike at the eyeballs. A wide strike zone there, George. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was wondering if I was not seeing something here. 2-1 delivery, looking on the corner again. Ooh, Kender held that for an extra half second. Saunders has been living on that outside corner, trying to get some strikes. The 3-1 pitch, that one one hops the catcher, and that will send Mincer to first. Third walk issued in the first couple of innings for Saunders. 
And back to the top of the order, Brockelman swung at his first pitch scene, ripped a single, stole the base, and scored a run in the first. So when he slid into home, looked like he may have rolled his ankle. Seems to be okay. They'll send the runner first pitch, popped up into the air. And that's green underneath it, trying to find the ball in the overcast skies. And three pop-outs issued for Saunders and the defense. No damage in the top of the second. Roan County to the plate, leading 2-1. Just why with dynamite. We'll treat you right. Lots of cars. We'll sell you cars. Come on down to D&D Motors and see Dan for your next quality used car. And for everyone who already has a used car, come and see Donna and her team of mechanics at D&D Customer Care for all your maintenance needs. From oil change to brakes and tires to alignments and everything in between. D&D, we are a full-service business that can meet all of your automotive needs. Call the dealership at 304-519-2157 or D&D Customer Care for your next appointment at 304-927-5688. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! Solid defensive effort in the top of the second for Roan County. Three pop fly outs. One a line drive to the Great House in center. One behind second. Two, the shortstop comes to an, and then the second baseman. Preston Green. Only wedged in between those was the single walk issued by Saunders. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. Saunders to lead it off as Roan County goes 9-1-2 against Jacob Stewart in the bottom of the second. First pitch, whew, called strike. That was a very interesting strike is all I will say. Uh, one pitch missing low. Down evens at one apiece. It'll be Saunders, Carter, Kinder, Cam Cumston to lead it off. Rome Kenny banging out three hits in the bottom of the first. This one ripped off of the face mask of the catcher. One, two, the count. Murphy trying to collect his thoughts after that one. One, two delivery, this one fouled off. Saunders stays alive. Boy, whoever made that pulled pork, it smells delicious up Doesn't here. Doesn't it? I'm about to send Swoby down there, George, and get us a big mess of it. One, two pitch, drops out of the zone for strike three. Come on. Whew. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, George has only done this one time, and he's already been PC enough for the radio. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I have done color since uh, I got out of broadcast school. Well, you're coming right into it, <laughs> making sure not to yell at the umpire. But uh, in our certain way, questioning those. Kinder grounded outs in the first inning. He's one out of the zone, 1-0 oh the count. I mean, our vantage point here right behind the plate, you know. This one missing outside by a mile. 2-0 oh the count. At least he didn't call a strike. Let's pull out the old Bob Euchre just a bit outside. <laughs> Stewart tried the corner and missed. 2-0. Stewart again missing on the outside corner behind in the count 3 0. 
Johnston in the on-deck circle. He started off the rally in the first. Kinder. Oh, that Ooh. one's going to clip Kinder right off of the leg, and he is not feeling good. Heading down to first. No way to get away from that one. Well, Kinder. Really trying to collect himself right now. Let's just say that hit him on the inner thigh. Yeah. Second hit batter of the game for the sophomore Jacob Stewart. That will draw a meeting at the mound with Coach Ben Hall. And the infield while Coach Larry Ash is tending to Kinder. <laughs> Kinder a tough kid in his own right, but uh, there are certain places on a body that uh, you can be tough as you want to, and you're going to hurt. Exactly. Kinder right now doubled over in pain. Comston looking to go. Again, we're checking on the status of Carter Kinder right now. On bases umpire also checking on Kinder. Well, he's up, says he's okay. He's still though trying to walk this off. That is not easy to do. So the meeting at the mound over. Kinder says he's okay. One out base runner aboard in the top, bottom of the second, Cumston. They're going to send Kinder right off the bat, and he looks okay. He is very quick on the base paths. Got a little help by that pass ball. Kicked in the afterburner there. 1-0 the count to Cumston. Roan County looking for more in the bottom of the inning. This one rides low and inside. Cumston jumps out of the way. 2-0 the count. Thompson with that rip single in the first, a stolen base. Scored the first run of the game for Rome County. 2-0 pitch, missing low, 3-0 for the second straight batter. And the sophomore, Stewart, having some control issues in the bottom of this second inning. Thompson will crowd the plate now with a 3-0 delivery. When called strike on the inside corner, they'll send the runner down, gets away from the third baseman, a late send. This throw is accurate, but it's going to get away from the catcher, Murphy. And Kinder doing what Kinder does and forcing the issue on the defense. The throw down to third by Murphy was good, but as Kinder went sliding in, Junkins lost sight of the ball. I wasn't sure, George, if they were going to send Kinder. They did late, and uh, he was able to slide in safely. They were late sending him from second, really. Rome County, though, another run scored. 3-1 pitch, popped foul out of play. Count full at 3-2. and two. Rome County leading 3-1. Still one out in the bottom of the second. Preston Green stands in the on-deck circle. Ripped an RBI double in the first. There comes the payoff pitch. Ripped Whoa. up the middle again. And Cam Cumston seeing the ball well <laughs> on his first two plate appearances. Two for two. And again, Coach Ben Hall heading out to the mound. This may be it for Stewart. And I believe it will be. So Stewart's afternoon is over here in the bottom of the second inning. We'll break away. We'll find the defensive changes and the new pitcher here in just a minute. We'll be back with the bottom of the second after this. This is Lady Raider Volleyball and Softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both 
home, and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or, in many cases, exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivw.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License, 055775. Whether you are new to the world or you've reached your golden years, Rome County Family Healthcare is here to serve you. Hello, I'm Dr. Maria Kessel, inviting you to make an appointment at Rome County Family Healthcare. With 20 years of experience practicing medicine in our community, I made the decision to partner with Rome County Family Healthcare. I am confident that together, we put the health of you and your family as our first priority. Rome County Family Healthcare is passionate about serving the families in our community. Please call 304-927-1495 for all of your common care needs. Rome County Family Healthcare, health and wellness for the whole family. A quick switch at the pitcher and third base positions. Chris Junkins, a senior, in on the mound. Stewart moves over to third. Goes officially one and a third innings. Four base hits, three runs, all three earned. They're going to send Cumston again down to second, and he will swipe the bag. And continuing to be aggressive on the base paths are the Raiders this season. So Cumston now two for two with two stolen bases. And a run score, that called strike on green. Preston one for one at the big RBI double and a run scored in the first. A one pitch, Junkins finds that outside corner. Zero and two to Preston Green. O2 delivery, swing and a miss as Junkins threw the off-speed breaking pitch. And he will strike out Green for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up Noah Jets. Little bloop single back in the first inning. Breeze is nice. It's blowing around the field here. We know some inclement weather is around the area. We hope it stays away. Check swing on the first delivery from Junkins. Home plate umpire says inside 1-0. and Raiders got two in the bottom of the first, one so far here in the second. 1-0 pitch turned on, ripped right at the third baseman, Stewart. And he will help get the Titans out of the inning, but Rome County plating one more. They lead it after two complete innings by a score of 3-1. to one. Go ahead, car. Make my day. Do you have one of those intermittent electrical problems that no one can find? Let Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, diagnose and fix that pesky problem for you. Call Groves Auto Service for an appointment today, and we will get to the bottom of it. Call 304-655-6765. Groves Auto Service, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Hi, folks. Here at Hardman's, we are a full-service building material and hardware store. We have it all, from nuts and bolts to plumbing, electrical, best-look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best-look paint is a sure win to brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardments, our family serving yours since 1907. We've played two complete innings here from Leo Hines Memorial Field. Rome County at 2-5 and five on the season facing off against the Titan Titans at 10-2 and two on the year. But Rome County at the moment 
with a two-run advantage, 3-1. to one. Raiders got one more in the bottom of the second on Carter Kinder's aggressive base running. Stole third, pass ball gets away to the outfield, and Kinder came through with the third run of the ball game. One hit, one run, one error, and one left on to the top of the third. We go, and it'll be 2-3-4 two, to the plate for Gilmer County. Colton Holbert, Colton Hall, and Bryant Yoke. For Gilmer County, Colton Holbert. Well, Saunders hasn't exactly had his most accurate stuff here, but he had a great second inning with some pop fly outs. Three to be exact. Holbert walked on a full count back in inning number one. Swings hard at the first offering out in front of it. Off the tip of the bat for the foul. Oh, one pitch, and there's the first real breaking pitch we have seen. Saunders uh, did not throw one of those in the first two innings. And when he has control of it, those things are really nasty. That's what I was just getting ready to say. That's a nasty pitch. Just missing the zone on the 0-1 pitch. Comes back with a fastball low and away. And the count now 2-1 and one to Holbert. This one turned on, poked foul down the third baseline. Count now two and two. Rome County again busy this week, weather permitting, obviously. At Webster County on Thursday, home versus Wahama Friday. They're scheduled to have a doubleheader at Work County on Saturday. All that is weather permitting, of course. Saunders fires the 2-2 pitch, called strike three, and down goes Olbert. Well, he'd been looking, George, for that outside corner. Didn't get it the last two innings, but got it on that one. Third strikeout of the ball game issued from the senior, Gage Saunders. One of those three is at the plate right now, the center fielder, Colton Hall. Saunders misses upstairs. Saunders was behind the Hall in the first inning, 3-0. and Fought back to... Get the strikeout. One-zero -oh pitch, smack foul in, into the cage. Go Gage, work. One-one delivery. That one missing low and in. Who won the count? Somebody won the lottery? Two one delivery. This one turned on and ripped high and deep into the right center field area. Gone. That one is gone. Over the 335 portion of the right center field fence. <laughs> And right off the bat of Colton Hall, a solo home run to make it 3-2. Now Saunders laid that one belt high over the plate, and Hall turned on it and tattooed it. That will bring up. The first baseman and the cleanup hitter, Bryant Yoke, walked on five pitches in the first. Fastball outside corner called strike one. I think you like to see about Cedar Gage Saunders is he is a gritty guy. He doesn't get rattled. Fights back very quickly. Yes. There's his breaking pitch. That one hung high. One and one, the count. Swing and a miss at the high action. Saunders up in the count, one and two, one out, nobody on. 
Raiders leading 3-2 here at the top of the third. Breaking pitch, turned on, ripped towards left. That's going deep. That's going to get over. Back-to-back -back home runs of the solo variety, and Gilmer County showing why they are an offensive-minded team. Well, it didn't look like Yoke got all of that one, George, but he's got enough strength and enough torque that he didn't have to. Exactly. Yoke puts it over the left field fence right at the 325 sign. And on two pitches, it goes from 3-1 Rome County to tied 3-3. And now some action in the bullpen. As you'll see, Nate Martin head to the warm-up area. Leo Rogers over there as well. Alex Richardson, the catcher as well. Dane Murphy now to the plate. Murphy, the other batter in the first inning that had a 3-0 count before striking out. <laughs> Two big base hits here for the Titans. Back-to-back -back solo shots. Looking for the outside corner. A little low, says the home plate umpire. 2-0 to Murphy. Saunders fires to the outside corner. Smacked foul out of play. Gilmer County will be in action again this week, weather permitting. Hosting Clay County on Thursday at Charleston Catholic on Friday. Parkersburg South at Lewis County. Nice breaking pitch dropped right into the zone. Two and two the counts. Be interested to see that Charleston Catholic matchup. With Gilmer County. Catholic losing their first ball game of the year to number one Winfield. Swing and a miss. And that one I think maybe has fooled Murphy. I think he may have been looking, George, for an off-speed pitch. Instead, yeah. it was a fastball. That's Two outs. I'm, that's what I'm saying. You know, Gage, you know, had two homers hit on him there, but he just – Battled right back. Comes right back with a strikeout. Big one. Chris Junkins, who's now the pitcher for the Titans. Junkins grounded out to Cumston to end the first inning. Upstairs on the next offering to Junkins. 2-0 oh the count. Duo pitch missing upstairs. Three and zero the count. Two outs again. We're tied at three apiece. From Kenny will have five, six, seven due up in the bottom of the third. Great house painter and Casto and Saunders missing low this time to Junkins. A four pitch walk issued. And that is the fourth walk issued. Four strikeouts, four walks. Junkins will have a pinch runner coming in. That looks like it's going to be Rodney McCord, Jr., the junior. They're going to send McCord. Throw down is accurate oh. and just couldn't dig it. And that's going to send McCord on. Oh, and it gets away. <laughs> From Great House out in center field and McCord. They're going to wave him around and now they're going to hold him. But McCord was moving towards third, thought better of it, turned back, but it got under the glove of Great House. So McCord ends up at third base now and the go ahead run here in the top of the third over at third. So Stewart, who's now at third for the Titans, ahead in the count quickly, 2-0. This one ripped towards the shortstop, fielded nicely by Cumston, 
and shows the arm across the diamond, and that go-ahead run will be held at third. Two big solo home runs, and we are tied after two and a half innings of play. Rome County to the plate after this. Builder Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildress is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at hildresupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hilder Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all Roan County athletes. Hi, this is Lisa Simmons inviting you to join the team of savings and visit Honest Fred's Flooring at one of our three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, or Marietta. That's where you'll find our warehouses stocked with all the latest trends in flooring, carpet, vinyl, ceramic, hardwood, or the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We have a price to fit every budget. We offer professional installation and financing is available. So come see what you've been missing at Honest Fred's Flooring. You can also check us out on the web at honestfreds.com. Two and a half innings complete. We move to the bottom of the third. A couple of really nice swings in the top half of that inning. One for Colton Hall, one for Bryant Yoke. Back-to-back -back solo home runs. And we are tied at three apiece. Two runs, two hits, one error, and one left on. Five, six, seven due up for Roan County. Jacob Greathouse, Jeb Painter, and Carson Casto. Junkins working his second inning of relief. Great house, walked on a full count, stranded at second in the first inning. This one turned on, chopped towards third, a swinging bunt attempt. Stewart comes and charges, fires across nicely. And I think that they're going to say, home plate umpire said that was off his foot. Well, darn, that was a good swinging bunt, but he would have been out. <laughs> Stewart made a nice play. It all ends in just a foul ball. Sort of anticlimactic, George. Yeah, exactly. That was more fun for a second than it ended up being. Oh, one, the counts. Breaking pitch. Great house laid back on it. Swung hard, but missed high. Zero and two. O2 pitch, breaking ball, swung hard at, ripped over towards the cars, and that was past the new netting, and somebody better call Erie Insurance. Was that your car? I parked far away, just to be <laughs> sure. If somebody can foul one to my truck, that's They're impressive. They're doing something. Yeah. O2 pitch, fastball, popped up in the infield. The freshman Holbert, second baseman, working over and called off at the last second by his freshman middle infield teammate Brockelman for the out. Painter to the plate, 0 for 1. Struck out looking back in the first inning on a full count. First pitch from Junkins, nicely located outside corner. Raiders with four base hits so far, three for the Titans. As Junkins misses at the eyes, 1-1 one, one to count. Next pitch popped up, giving chase over there. Three separate infielders, and it's going to end up in the hands of the freshman catcher, Dane Murphy. What a play on the basket grab. Junkins peeled off at the right time. Stewart <laughs> held where he was, and that gave Murphy the chance to make the big play. Two up, two down in the bottom of the third. Carson Casto hit by a pitch in the first. Swings at the breaking ball and misses. Carson Casto for all count. Oh, 
Oh, one pitch, fastball, healthy, cut again. What well, Casco Castro taking his hacks here. Yeah. Seeing the pitches. He's got to make some contact. Here comes the 0-2. That one up at the eyes. Call that John Denver. Not quite Willie Nelson. <laughs> One, two delivery, swing and a miss on the breaking ball. It's a one, two, three inning for Junkins and the defense. After three complete innings here from Leo Hines Field, we're tied at three apiece. Now at Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service for a limited time, Motorcraft Complete Brake Service, $209 or less per axle price on most vehicles. Includes brake pads or shoes, machining rotors or drums, and labor. Only need brake pads? Motorcraft brake pads installed for $149 or less per axle price. Exclusions apply on both offers. Taxes extra. The dealer for details. Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service, Ripley Road, Spencer. Hurry. Offer ends March 30th. If you have been injured in an auto accident, don't wait to seek the compensation you deserve. At Joel Baker Law, we will work tirelessly to ensure you receive fair treatment and the maximum compensation possible. Contact us today for a free consultation, 304-500-9238. Your road to recovery starts here. We have played three from Leo Hines Memorial Field, Rome County and Gilmer County, dead even at three apiece. A 1-2-3, bottom of the third for Roan County at the plate. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. To the top of the fourth we go, bottom of the inning, or bottom of the order, sorry, for Gilmer County. 8-9-1 coming up. It'll be Grog followed by Menser, and then back to the top of the Titan order with Brody Brockelman. Well, Saunders. Yeah. Four strikeouts, four walks. He's utilized his defense behind him, and they have made some good plays for the Raider defense. On that last warm-up pitch, George, you saw the ability of those breaking pitches. When, yep. he's, when he's got them, he is a dangerous pitcher. He's not an overpowering guy. He's got, you know, decent speed, but Be he a relies. nasty pitch, yeah. too be looking at he relies on those off-speed pitches see if he can settle in in the top of the fourth grog first to the plate popped out in the second inning to the shortstop Cumston. first offering is upstairs and a little close one oh pitch down the middle popped up again over towards third casto moving in and Carson into the glove for out number one. One out in the inning, and that'll bring up Mincer, who walked on five pitches in the second. This one, one hops the catcher. Played umpire probably in the ear of Kinder saying, thank you for catching that one. Yeah, I'd say. A one pitch popped up again. This one behind the plate. And Kinder doesn't even take the mask off. That one headed backwards. Count one and one. There's that breaking pitch, and that is what it looks like when it's good. It starts at 12 o'clock, drops down to 6. Exactly. And freezes the batters. Saunders ahead in the count, 1 and 2. Comes with a fastball, launched into the sky again. That one going to head backwards as well. Count remains one and two. There's a breaking pitch, hangs up over the head. Two and two, the counts. If y'all get a chance while you're watching in between the pitches and the plays, take a look top right corner of our screen. Those are our sponsors for sports. Without them, we do not get to do what we do. 
Low and away, that one missing wildly outside. Full count to Mincer. I see Hildreth get us a better uh, logo. Oh, what's going on with him? <laughs> oh, good friend. Cassie beside us. Don't want to give away too much. <laughs> that one missing low and away again, by the way. So a full count walk issued to Mincer. Runner on first, top of the order in Brockelman. This one down the middle. This one ripped into the gap in left center field, moving over as Hunt called off at the last second, though, by Great House. That one took a ride. And the second out of the inning issued. Great House had to cover a lot of ground. He was on his horse to get over there, but. All right, we'll bring up Colton Holbert. 0 for 1, walked in the first, struck out in the third. Uh-oh, and that one. Right between the 1 and the 5 in the back. We've seen some hit batters here on both sides today. Gage knew that that one was a bad one just as it left his hand because he already turned his head because he knew it was. Bad. Well, Roan County's had a couple of hit batters and now one for Gilmer County, and that'll bring up Colton Hall. Ooh. He took the last one over the right center field fence, got a hold of it. This one missing upstairs. Hall one for two. He struck out on a full count in the first inning. Tie ball game here in the top of the fourth. Go ahead run out at second, represented by Raylan Mincer. 1 0. Missing upstairs again. Saunders gives a check to the runners. The 2 0 pitch. Missing low and in. 3 and 0 the counts. Raiders, though, looking a lot like they did against that top seed in Charleston Catholic last Monday. After four innings, it was a 4 2 ball game. 3 0 pitch called strike one. All had the take sign all the way. Cleanup hitter in Yoke on deck. He also blasted a solo shot in the last inning. Three one pitch turned on ripped just out of the glove of Jet at first. That's going to be extra bases. Mincer will head into score. They're going to hold the runner at third. So just one across, and that was inches away from the glove of Noah Jet. He had good movement to try to get to it. It just sailed away from his glove. Mincer will score on the RBI double. Holbert stopping at third. And Bryant Yoke to the plate, one for one with the solo home run. First pitch looking on the outside corner. That was a really nice frame job by Kender. Almost made me believe it. 1 0 the count. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Pass ball up high, 2 and 0. Oh. Now you know the prowess of Yoke. First base is open if you don't want to swing or pitch right down the middle to him. He'll stay up at the eyes again, 3 and 0. Oh. And again on deck, you got Dane Murphy who was struck out twice. We'll see if they give Yoke the green light. Nope, they are going to pitch out here. And I think as far as strategy is concerned, that's not a bad deal. 
So Yoke will head to first. That will give Roan County the opportunity for a force out at any base. Pretty good strategy here, I think, for Roan County. Yeah. Now, who knows? Murphy may step up and prove us all wrong. <laughs> Blast one out of here. <laughs> struck out on a full count in the first and then struck out on a 2-2 two -two count in the third, both swinging. Saunders fires Ooh. this one, ripped opposite field. That's going to score two runs. And he does make a profit out of myself, unfortunately. Murphy, after going 0 for 2, a two RBI single to break open the scoring. Yoke made it over to third. Holbert and Hall both came in to score. Two RBIs listed here for Dane Murphy. Runners at the corners. Now the question is, will Saunders continue or will that be it for the senior? And it looks like Saunders is going to give up the baseball. So we'll have a new Roan County pitcher. We'll check all of the defensive changes here in just a minute. We'll continue with the top of the fourth. Roan County down right now, 6-3. In the 2024 circuit judge election, what are you looking for in a candidate? I want someone who has experience in a courtroom. We need someone who's hardworking. It's important to me to have someone who is fair and treats everyone the same. Who are you voting for in the 2024 circuit judge race? Josh Downey. I'm voting for Josh Downey. I'm voting for Josh Downey. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Downey, Aaron M. Nichols treasurer. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh, I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead, as long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just the start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. Name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie insurance agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town. McDonald's in Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown. Great prices every day. McDonald's in Spencer. I'm loving it and so will you. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances has been servicing Spencer and the surrounding area for over 50 years. McIntosh carries the finest selection of products to bring you the best value for your purchases. We are a full-line furniture, appliance, bedding, and hardware retailer. We proudly supply Amana, Frigidaire, Vaughn, Brone, Lazy Boy, Whirlpool, Brown, and Maytag products. Shop local and support local businesses who support local athletes. We offer what the big stores want, sales, service, delivery, installation, and removal. Call 304-927-2700. Visit us on the web at macintosh.goretailer.com. Check out our Facebook page at Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances or stop by and see us at 204 Market Street in downtown Spencer. A new pitcher for Roan County, Nate Martin, will check in. He'll officially replace Carson Casto in the order. Casto will come out of the ball game. Jacob Greathouse from center to third as Gage Saunders heads out to center field now. Runners at the corners, two outs. Junkin at the plates. They'll fake the throw down and they'll allow... Murphy to head to seconds. <laughs> Junkins 0 for 1. 
Walked, stole the base, was stranded back in the third inning after grounding out to end the first. 1-0 pitch, breaking ball popped up, foul territory. And that will sail out of play. One and one the counts. We have gotten a chance to see Martin just a little bit in relief this year. Very excited about his potential coming off of last year. He got some late starts in the season. Pitched very well for Roan County. 1-1 one, one pitch. Called ball. Outside? Felt like it was over the plate, but high. Yeah. My buddy Jason Jess said he wanted to call that a strike. That one is a strike. Junkin swings. Did he have his nine iron or his sand wedge out on that one? Two and two, the counts. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Titans have placed three across so far to take the 6 3 advantage. 2 2 pitch. Ooh, nasty. Knuckle curve on that one. Good defense behind the plate by the catcher, Carter Kinder. Keeping it in front, keeping Bryant Yoke at bay over at third. A payoff pitch. This one turned on, ripped into the gap. Just gets away from the diving glove of Cumston, and that's going to score two runs. Boy, sometimes it's not how hard you hit him, George. It's where. Exactly. Back-to-back -back RBI singles. Two RBIs for Murphy before Martin came in, and then Martin with a 3-2 pitch. It was a nice pitch. But Junkins with a great piece of hitting. And it has expanded this lead for Gilmer County now to 5-8-3. Now it looks like Gilmer County will have some movement in their order. And they just have a pinch runner for the pitcher now. <coughs> now Junkins will come out of the ball game and in comes Bradley Blake, the sophomore to pinch run. And that will bring to the plate Jacob Stewart, the starting pitcher, now the third baseman. Stewart officially 0 for 2 on the day. Popped out to center field in the second and then grounded out to the shortstop on a really nice play in the third to finish the inning. Cumston has made some good plays here today. So far he has four putouts in the field defensively. First pitch to Stewart, turned on and ripped into straightaway left field. Moving over, though, is Hunt and Saul makes the grab for out number three. Damage done, though, for the Gilmer County offense. Five across in the top of the fourth. Roan County trails by five. Hey, guys, got dirty clothes? Come to Miller Suds and Sales and wash your clothes in style at our brand new laundromat with state-of-the-art machines. Located around the corner from Miller Steals and Deals. Shop while you wash, seven days a week, eight to eight. I'm Corey Grog. I'm a women's health and family nurse practitioner with Minnie Hamilton Health System, Glenville office. I'm a Glenville girl, born and raised. That's why I'm so excited to announce the opening of our women and maternal care services in Glenville. This will allow women to get prenatal care close to home and still deliver at their choice of hospital. We've also hired Kayla Stewart as our patient navigator. She will be offering childbirth education classes, lactation support for breastfeeding moms, and postpartum care and support for when mom and baby come home. Along with pre- and postnatal care, our Minnie Hamilton team sees patients from birth throughout the lifespan. We are your partner in health today, tomorrow, and for life. Please call the Glimble office for more information at 304-462-7322. A big top of the fourth inning to, or offensively for Gilmer County. They plated five runs on three hits 
Two of the three were two RBI singles as the Titans expand their lead after tying it with two solo home runs back in the third inning. They take the lead in the top of the fourth. Five runs, three hits, no errors, one left on. Nate Martin, the new pitcher for Roan County. As the Raiders will attempt their comeback beginning here in the bottom of the fourth, it's going to be 8-9-1 <laughs> to the plate. It'll be Sawyer Hunt. Made that nice grab to finish the top of the inning. Gage Saunders. And back to the top of the order with Carter Kinder. Well, knock on wood, so far the weather, George, has held out for us. Well, you know, it looked like it was going to, but I didn't know with the way the sky looked. Yeah, you never want to jinx it either. So. Exactly. So Hunt digs in first, struck out in the first inning. His only other plate appearance, Junkins starts him off with a breaking pitch right over the middle of the plate. Salt got his hacks in in that first plate appearance. This one right over the middle again. Duncan's feeling confident back to the rubber quickly. Rocks and fires and the breaking pitch swung on a missed. And Duncan's on three pitch. Gets the eighth hitter in the order. Gage Saunders struck out looking back in the second inning. He is now the center fielder for the Raiders. And Saunders did not pitch poorly here. No, he did not. Just some inopportune base hits with runners on in that last half inning to knock him out of the ball game. Swings and fouls the first pitch back out of play. Zero and one. This one Good looped hit. in a very shallow right field, unfortunately, for Saunders. That is right where Grog was playing. Yeah. yeah. You play shallow for the opposite field, and that's exactly where Saunders put it. Two up, two down. In the bottom of the fourth, back to the top of the order, Carter Kinder. Oh, for one officially. Breaking pitch stays inside from Junkins. Kinder grounded out to second in the first and then was hit by a pitch in a bad spot. He ended up stealing a base and heading home on an errant throw. All it takes is just him getting on base, George, and he makes things happen. Yeah, he definitely has some wheels. He can get around there. 2-0 the counts. Junkins, this one missing inside again. Kinder maybe a little gun shy after that last shot to the. No doubt. To that uh, region, I will say. That made me jump. Yeah. A lot of cringing going on. Exactly. That hit by the pitch, let's just say that. 3-0 pitch now coming from Junkins. He'll fire it. Green light for Kinder. This one launched high into the sky. Shallow left field moving out is Brockelman. He'll make the grab. A one, two, three. Bottom of the fourth for the Raiders. After four complete, Gilmer County leading eight to three. You've changed thousands of diapers, cut off hundreds of crusts, played hours of peekaboo and duck duck goose because you'd do anything for your kids. That's why it's so important to protect them with life insurance from State Farm. State Farm agent Norman L. Daniels will help make it easy and affordable to help you protect your family, no matter what the future holds. Because for the people you'd do anything for, life insurance could mean everything. Call State Farm agent Norman L. Daniels and Spencer at 304-927-5680 today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, 
Just give our office a call and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. Very quick bottom of the fourth inning for the Raiders. Offensively, a 1-2-3 inning for Chris Junkins and the defense for the Titans. An 8-3 advantage for Gilmer County as we enter the top of the fifth inning. Nine came to the plate for the Titans at the top of the fourth. And that's where they took the lead and then took it out even further from 3-3 to 8-3. It'll be 8-9 and 1 due up here in the top of the inning. Grog, Mincer, and Brockelman to lead it off for the second straight inning. See Nate Martin working into his second inning of relief. Yeah, we won't see Grog, in fact, actually. We're going to get ourselves some new players. This will be Rodney, Rodney McCord, McCord, Jr. And into the fifth inning. We'll see if McCord, Jr. comes into the defensive order or if this is just a pinch hit situation. First pitch missing away from... Nate Martin comes back with a nice pitch. A little tail inside on the batter. Martin comes with the 1-1. Again, that two-seam fastball just tails in on these right-handed batters. Martin ahead in the count, one and two. Breaking pitch, that one, a swing and a miss. Tagged out just to confirm it for Kinder. It's a pretty pitch. And now we'll have a freshman coming in to bat here, Remington Huffman. We'll bat in the order for Braylon Mincer. All name team here, Remington Huffman. Bet you Swolby wishes he was named Remington. First pitch from Martin, high and tight. Here's a very young team for Coach Ben Hall. Five freshmen, four of them start. This one launched high into the sky. And nobody calling it. Oh. And that's going to drop in. Oh, some miscommunication or lack thereof by the Raider infield. And that will be what should have been out number two leading to a base runner. It's all about communication in the infield and nobody called for that one. And will bring the top of the order. Brockelman back to the plate. Looks on at one a little low. Brockelman swung at the first pitch of the game, ripped a single, stole the base, and scored. And has popped out since. One to second, one to, to center field. This one outside. Here's a throw down to first. Boy, oh. that was in time. A little off the bag, but they were trying to catch Huffman on his way back to first. 2 and 0 oh, the counts. Huffman freshman said, "Hey, I'm going to take all the advantage I can after that miscue from Roan County. He's got a big lead over at first. They're going to send him. This one popped up. And boy, you could hear Cumston calling that one. Oh, oh drops no. It. Doesn't matter though. It's going to be an out no matter what. Yeah. Infield fly rule. Oh, did they? 
Okay, they'll call that on the transfer. They'll say he caught it and then pulling it out of the glove, dropped it out of his hand. Either way, they would have had the out of seconds, no matter what. <laughs> Two outs now in the inning. And Holbert back to the plate. Holbert officially 0 for 1. This one launched high over in right field. Moving in is Painter. And Jeb's going to camp underneath that one for out number three. An interesting base runner aboard. No damage. To the bottom of the fifth we go. Roan County down 8-3. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment. But if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Papers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street and Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. Thrive with five at the best community bank in the Canal Valley, Boca Valley Bank. Boca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special, 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Boca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Boca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield, subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Boca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. Joint pain and orthopedic injury shouldn't prevent you from doing the things you love. At Roan General Hospital, we have an orthopedic team that boasts decades of combined experience diagnosing, treating, and surgically repairing a full range of orthopedic conditions. Our experts help you regain mobility so that you can live life in full stride. Schedule an orthopedic consultation today. Roan General Hospital. Care you can trust close to home. Moving into the bottom of the fifth inning, Rome County down 5-8-3 and animated Coach Buddy Huffman George as his team uh, comes uh, off the field. Yeah. Well, they didn't give anything up there, but that lack of communication will drive a coach insane. That's uh, one error that allowed the one base runner aboard. Rome County got out of it though with no damage, no runs, no hits. One error, one left aboard. And the Raiders at the moment have the bottom of the fifth, bottom of the sixth, and bottom of the seventh. Still three at-bats available. they got to get back to the first couple innings when they had those bats swinging and working. They'll start it off with Cumston, who has the bat working right now. Two for two with a pair of singles, a pair of stolen bases, and a run scored. Junkins was ready to go to work. The home plate umpire still didn't even have his head on. Two, three, four, due up for the Raiders. First pitch from Junkins launched into the sky. Very shallow right field. This is dangerous. Yoke, though, is going to get back there. And still, the wind playing havoc with that fly ball. You could see the, the uh, flag out in center field across the diamond from yeah. left to right, and Yoke had to just... Extend that arm to make that out. That wind had a little bit of it. Preston Green due up. Green one for two with an RBI <laughs> double and a run scored in the first. All strike at the knees as Junkins delivers. 0-1 the count. This one smacked the foul into the cage. Zero and two. Looks like over in the stands, it looks like Spencer Yellow Jackets have come in. Right. They got a game later? I don't know. Upstairs. They're one, two uniform. counts. Middle school? Yes. Got a game next? Okay. See, she's not just another pretty face. Cassie Biz. Cassie Bischoff says, I've got the info for you guys, too. There we go. One-two pitch. It's nice to get that 4 one, one you know. Off the tip of the bats. You're going to regret coming up into the booth, Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> we spare no one. Right. 
One two pitch, swing and a miss, and down goes Green, swinging. Two up, two down. It was a one, two, three, bottom of the fourth for Rome County at the plate. And Noah Jett going to try to avoid that for the second straight inning. Well, Jett had a nice soft loop single in the first and then hit a line drive shot to the third baseman, Stewart. In the second, breaking ball. That one drops out of the zone. Junkins wanted that one bad. So the Spencer Middle School team getting set to play here after this one concludes. That one finds the mark on the same breaking pitch. One and one the counts. And Clay County coming to play the middle school team here in just a bit. Oh, Junkins working well here in his third inning of relief. One and two the counts. Raiders down by five, eight, three, looking to slowly fight back if they can. Junkins, though, has other ideas. Breaking pitch drops out of the zone. Two and two, the count. Two, two delivery, chopper towards third, fielded on a tough hop, and across the diamond with the strong throw for Stewart. A one, two, three, bottom of the fifth. After five completes, Gilmer County leading eight to three. Ridge Top Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, teramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304-908-2004 or 304-927-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County athletics. Let's go Raiders. Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you could store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear. Store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor. Keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment. Make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 304-421-3091 or visit us at RhoneSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. <laughs> Bottom of the fifth, not kind to Roan County offensively. A second straight, one, two, three inning for Gilmer County defensively. Three up, three down. To the top of the six we go. Roan County now with just two more innings available. And they trail eight to three. Roan County got out of the inning with no damage in the top of the fifth. And we'll see three, four, five. The meat of the Gilmer order here in the top of the six. Colton Hall to lead it off. Swings hard at the first offering. Fouls it over towards the third base dugout. Kinder gives a look at it, and it goes foul. Hall has been really good in his last two plate appearances. He struck out on a full count pitch in the first. Since then, a solo home run in the third and a two RBI double with a run scored in the fourth. Be ready, go. Nice pitch on the outside. Hall couldn't get the bat to it. Quickly behind in the count, zero and two. Woo! Looking for the inside yeah. corner. And that one freezes the lefty. And Hall goes down looking. That was, again, a great location. He saw Martin George go to the outside corner of the first couple of pitches and goes yeah. back in on the hands. That was a pretty pitch. 
Martin working into his third <laughs> inning of relief. Gets the third batter, and now a tough at bat here. Bryant Yoke, two walks, and in between that, he had the solo home run following Halls back in the third. That tied it at three apiece since then. A five-run fourth inning, and Roan County's been blanked in the fourth and fifth, respectively. But Martin delivers on the corner. Up in the count to Yoke, 0 and 1. Breaking ball, looking for the outside corner, just missing. The 1 1 pitch, fighting back in. And that one missing low, 2 and 1. Oh, wait, this home plate umpire is making the flinch moves, and I'm like, is it going to be a strike? Is it going to be a ball? 2-1 pitch, outside corner, finds it. Martin's got pretty good accuracy here, in, accuracy here into the third inning of work. Got a pretty good arm on him. Just gave up those two back-to-back -back hits in relief in that fourth inning. Since then, he's given up nothing. Looked like he had another strike out there. Instead, called ball on the outside. Full count to Yoke. This one ripped up the gut, the full count pitch. And Yoke delivers with another base hit, his second of the game. And just the seventh base hit total in the ball game for the Titans. They have fully taken advantage of the ones they have gotten of the eight runs. Seven have come with an RBI. And coming to the plate, Dane Murphy. Well, they walked Yoke intentionally to load the bases back in that fourth inning. Right. As Murphy had struck out twice, and what did he do? First pitch takes it oppo for the two RBI single. This one ripped towards the shortstop, fielded cleanly. Comes to him from his knees. They'll turn it over at first. It gets away. Oh. Green trying to avoid the slide from Yoke, threw it low, and Jet just couldn't pull it out of the dirt. Not sure. If they had gotten him or not. But a very nice play to get the lead runner for the Raiders on the 6-4. Murphy safe on the fielder's choice at first base. Two outs now with Junkins back to the plates. He followed Murphy's two RBI single with one of his own in the fourth. Officially one for two. Also was walked and stole the base in inning number three. And a pinch runner now for Murphy, the catcher. <clears throat> what we got over there, George? Number 11? Mm-hmm. Caden Putnam is the pinch runner. First pitch to Junkins off the mark. They'll snap throw down as... Putnam getting back in time. 1-0 and to Junkins. Right now, my eyes are just about as bad as yours. Oh, George, <laughs> George had an issue, <laughs> issue with his glasses earlier this week. Breaking pitch. Called strike at the numbers. 1-1 one one the counts. Yeah, speaking of breaking, he right down the middle. <laughs> he didn't drop him and, and, and step on him. He didn't sit on him. Nothing like that. He just... Pushed him closer to his face. Didn't know his own strength with his Evident. index finger. Snapped him in two. 1-1 one, one pitch. Looking on that outside corner. Missing outside. Swolby did a good job with the duct tape earlier this week to try yeah. to keep those things on. Temporary. It's a temporary fix is what it was. 2-1 the count to Junkins. Two outs. Runner on first. Down the middle, rip back up the middle, and just gets through for another base hit. First and second with two outs here at the top of the sixth. The third baseman, Jacob Stewart, was the starter. 
Stewart was knocked out in the third inning of work. Another pinch runner set to come in. Bradley Blake, number 13. Blake, just a sophomore. Stewart, 0 for 3. He has hit it everywhere on the field. Unfortunately for him, he has hit it at defenders. Timeout called before Martin was able to get to the <coughs> Stewart lined out to center field in the second, popped out to, or lined into the put out, 6-3 in the third, and then in the fourth, popped out to left field. This one popped up in the infield right at Cumston. And Cam will make the grab. Two on, no damage in the top of the six. Roan County, their second to last plate appearance. Going to try to get some runs back here, trailing eight to three. Staff's Pharmacy is a proud supporter of Raider Athletics, school and local events. We have served the community since 1940 and our customers' satisfaction is our number one priority. We offer free local delivery and mail-out services. Stop in and see our great selection of giftware, including evergreen flags, Swan Creek candles, a new line of purses, and much more. Staff's Pharmacy is located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. Please call us at 304-927-2980. Customer went down to Starchers and he was looking to make a deal. He was in a bind and broken down and looking for steel. He came across a counterman who said, we can really help. We can fix you up with the parts you need. We're the best you've ever seen. Fire up the engine, run, run, run. Grease up the chassis with a new grease gun. Tools on the wall and batteries too. Everything you need just waiting for you. Willard Starchers is the place to shop. Good people, good prices, good parts. Willard Starchers, open seven days a week. Dial 304-927-2520. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm seeking re-election. In 2016, the voters at this circuit selected me this important judicial seat, and I've been honored to serve, presiding over the courts of Rome, Calhoun, Jackson, and Mason counties. An examination of my record will show that in my eight years as judge, I've worked hard to provide fair, efficient, and partial court, treating all who appear before me with dignity and respect. I'm proud to have been chosen by my fellow judges to serve as president of the West Virginia Judicial Association and to have been selected as West Virginia Judge of the Year by Costa for my work with abused and neglected children. Before being elected judge, I had a very successful long-time law practice and I handled a wide variety of cases. I have the experience necessary to serve in this essential position. I would appreciate your vote and support in the May 14th election. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Moving into the bottom of the sixth inning, Roan County got out of it with no damage in the top half. No hit, no runs, two hits, no errors, and two Left on lots of defensive changes here as we enter the bottom of the inning for Gilmer County. New pitcher will be the freshman, Brody Brockelman. The shortstop will move to the mound. Junkins will switch places with him. Junkins now at shortstop. We've got a new second baseman in Seth Stewart, the sophomore. Out in left field, we've got a new left fielder in senior Caden Putnam. <coughs> and that's all we have for sure. We got 10 in right. Okay, so Rodney McCord Jr. is replacing Grog in right. Old Eagle Eye Cherry over here in Swolby. So we're ready to go with the new pitcher, Brockelman. Missing to Great House to begin the inning. Great House 0 for 1, walked in the first. Popped out in the fourth, and they'll launch this one in foul territory. Another nice play by the catcher, Dane Murphy. That will bring up Jeb Painter.
First pitch to Painter popped up over near short. Junkins a couple of feet into the outfield in left. And three pitches and two outs. Model of efficiency right now for the freshman Brockelman. I'm still trying to add up Junkins' relief <laughs> effort here. Maybe I'll wait till in between innings. Nate Martin for the first time coming to the plate. Pitch number one missing low from Brockelman. <coughs> one oh pitch missing upstairs. That was almost Snoop Dogg level, George. Yeah. This one high and tight, quickly three and O oh to Martin. Well, Junkins officially three and two thirds. 11 batters face, four strikeouts, no walks, no hits, no runs. So Junkins did a great job in his three and two thirds innings of relief. Three and one the count as Brockelman fights back. Three one pitch popped up, foul territory. Now, Roan County was sent packing three up, three down in the fourth and fifth innings. Trying to avoid that once again for the third straight offensive inning. Sawyer Hunt stands in the on-deck circle. Here comes the payoff pitch. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss, and it's another three up, three down. Half inning for Roan County. We move to the seventh. One more inning for Roan County. They trail at the moment, eight to three. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley from Ashley Insurance. Let's talk life insurance. It's not just about numbers, it's about peace of mind. Picture this, would your family be able to continue on financially if you weren't there? Life insurance can be the answer, and our team is ready to help you. We've got affordable coverage and expert guidance because your peace of mind is our priority. So don't wait for the unexpected. Call Ashley Insurance at 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you close and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me thank you. Board Depew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. We move to the seventh inning. The relief pitching for the Gilmer County Titans has been dominant. Junkins went three and two-thirds, did not give up a base hit or a runner on. He shut out one, two, three, Roan County in the fourth and the fifth innings, respectively. And then in the sixth, Brockerton comes to the mound from short, and he retires the side one, two, three for the third straight inning. So we're into the top of the seventh. Raider defense needs a quick inning in the top. <coughs> McCord, who checked in at the last plate appearance in the fifth inning, is back to the plate. Struck out swinging his only other plate appearance. Swings heavy at the first offering from Martin. 
Eight, nine, and one in the top of the seventh for Gilmer County. Fastball missing up. We already heard Coach Ben Hall screaming. Brockerton, Brockleton is done at the mound, so he only got one inning of relief work, and they're going to bring in Huffman to pitch the seventh. 1-1 one, one delivery, missing low and away. So the Titans working a lot of arms here today. Two one pitch missing up three and one the counts. Now Huffman, who came into bat in the fifth, is now going to be pitching in the seventh. He's on deck right now. Three one pitch called strike on the outside corner. Full count. And the payoff pitch, beautiful location. Outside corner, and it froze the cord. <laughs> Third strikeout in relief for Nate Martin, first of the top of the seventh. Now Huffman to the plates, reached on an error in the fifth inning. They'll turn the square to Bont. This one poked towards third, fielded by Greathouse. Nobody there. Boy, I tell you, infield miscues a couple times here with Huffman at the plate is really going to frustrate Coach Buddy Huffman. And that will be an error for Roan County. For eight. So Brockelman will not even bat here in the top of the seven. It'll be 13. Brady, Bradley Blake, sorry. Blake, who came into pinch run in an inning a few ago. 13's in for eight, too. And replacing Brockelman completely. Well, we heard that Brockelman wasn't going to pitch in the seventh. That's what the ump just said. So he they're bringing him out completely now. Yeah. Messing up on the pitch. Big lead over at first for Huffman. They're going to snap throw down, and Huffman quickly back, scurries to the bag. Just ahead of the tag attempt <laughs> by Jets. 2-0 and the count. Lights shining down now here at Leo Hines Field. Just good to see the Raiders get back on the field. First ball game. Everyone has been canceled since last Monday at Charleston Catholic. And we know that there is some bad weather coming again this week. So we're not sure how many they'll get this week. Yeah, they haven't been able to buy a break. Snap throw down again and again. Huffman ahead of the tag just a bit. It's like a boxer with a jab. He's trying to feel out how, yeah. how the range is there. <laughs> Meanwhile, a 3-0 count to the batter, Bradley Blake. Swing and a miss. He'll throw down again and again, Huffman. Well, he's not gotten a lot of playing time, but his mom is going to have a heck of a time cleaning the dirt off of those pants now. That's it. Now Martin, peripheral looking back. Over the shoulder, he'll step off the back of the rubber.
3-1 pitch, beautifully located outside corner. Full count. Rome County needs to hold Yilmer County off the board here at the top of the inning. If so, they'll need five runs to tie. Six would win it in a walk-off miracle fashion. Payoff pitch. They're going to send the runner. This one right oh, back yes. at Martin, and he is going to double off the runner. And just like that, the Raiders oh. end the top of the seventh. What a play by Nate Martin. We move to the bottom of the inning. Rome County will need five. This preventive dental care tip comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Dental professionals recommend brushing twice a day, every day, with a fluoride toothpaste for two minutes and flossing once a day, every day as well. This easy, affordable preventive dental care routine can save you money by promoting good dental health and preventing costly dental treatment. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your dental appointment. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual deals on wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. We move to the bottom of the seventh inning. Final opportunity for Roan County. They trail eight to three. The difference in this ball game, that five run fourth in the top of the fourth inning for the Titans. Roan County held the lead going into the third, three to one, before back-to-back -back solo home runs from Hall and Yoke tied it at three. And then in that fourth, they took the lead eight three, and that's where we've stood ever since. A tremendous finish, by the way, to the top of the seventh. A line drive shot right to the head of Nate Martin by Bradley Blake. He fielded it in the glove and doubled off the runner. Huffman at first. No runs, no hits, one error, and no one left on. It'll begin with Sawyer Hunt, 8-9-1. New pitcher is Remington Huffman. And it's the fourth arm that Roan County will see today. And Huffman starts one right down Main Street to Hunt. It's all over two pair of strikeouts. Swings heavy at that one. Actually, that's not Hunt. I do apologize. That's Mitchell Arner. This one missing up and away. One and two, the counts. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Healthy cut, though, by Arner. And one out in the bottom of the seventh. So Huffman checks in to pitch here in relief and strikes out his first batter. <coughs> Going to bring up Gage Saunders. Appreciate that, George. My ears are now I'm bleeding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Saunders 0 for 2. I like Huffman working, working quickly and working accurately. Right over the middle of the plates. Saunders 0 for 2 as well. This one launched high into the sky, moving over. Taking a look at it is Murphy. And that one just sails over the fence. It's on top of the first base dugout. So and too quickly to Saunders. O2 pitch, breaking ball, slapped foul down the line at first. Good piece of hitting by Saunders. Way to stay alive. <clears throat> Kinder in the on-deck circle. Again, Rome County will need base runners first here with one out in the bottom of the seventh. They trail by five. Raiders again 
Weather permitting, we'll head to Webster County on Thursday. Another 0-2 pitch from Huffman right down the middle of the plate. And it freezes Saunders. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for the freshman Remington Huffman. Rome County down to their final outs. Kinder, 0 for 2 on the day. Grounded out in the first to second. Popped out to shortstop in the fourth. In the second, he was hit by a pitch, stole the base, and scored. This one poked towards the shortstop. Junkins fields it, got to hustle the throw. Kinder dives in, beats the throw. It gets away over towards the fence line, and Kinder's going to head to second. That young man is a hustler. An infield single for Carter Kinder. Junkins made a nice play at it, but just not in time. And then as the throw gets away, he'll head to second. So a single and an error, and that will send Kinder into scoring position. Cam Cumston, two for three, a pair of stolen bases and a run scored today. Hoffman's first offering missing up. One oh delivery missing up as well. This one turned on, ripped down the line at third foul as Cumston went chasing that high of heat. Got great contact on it. Well, with two outs and a runner on second, if it is to be, it'll be Roan Kenny's meat of the order right now. Two, three, four, all getting ready to be available. They just got to keep swinging and hitting. Now Huffman stepping off the bag, checking Kinder out at second. One-two pitch, or sorry, the two-one pitch. Cumston went attacking that high pitch and missed two and two. Two-two delivery. This one launched high into the sky. That's going to send the center fielder back, back, he and that's going to get over his head. That's going to score the run, and Cumston into second. That one just got over the head. You could see that ball continue to sail back, and Hall just couldn't get to it if that is Hall in center, which I don't think it is. So give Cumston credits for the double. And the RBI scoring Kinder. Don't count he down four now, and Preston Green, he's got an RBI in this game back in that first inning. A double, an RBI, and a run scored. Huffman delivers upstairs. Up again. Two and O oh the counts. Raiders not going down yet without a fight. And a Mid at bat, change defensively as the right fielder and the center fielder will flip flop. So McCord Jr. will move to center. And whoever that is in right field now is not Hall. 2 0 the count. And again, Huffman trying to keep tabs out there at second base. This time, Cumston with a healthy lead. Duo pitch upstairs again and green ahead in the count three and zero. Got to imagine he's got the take sign here no matter what. You need base runners. Noah Jet on deck as well. Three zero pitch that one finds the mark. No way. Green was swinging. He could have turned the bat around, George. He wasn't taking a cut at that one. No. 
Hitters count, though, three and one. <coughs> the pitch, missing inside, and Green heads down to first. And the Raiders, all this two-out rally action here, they are working hard to try to stay in this ball game. Moa Jets, one for three. Had a single back in the first, line drive put out to the third baseman in the second, and then grounded out again to third base in the fifth. First pitch of this set bat up at the eyeballs. Now Huffman retired those first two batters by strikeout since then. Rome County's stayed on the board, a couple of base hits. And a walk. 1-0 pitch. This one goes opposite field. Hit over there towards the right fielder, and that's in the glove. And Roan County's comeback attempt will fall short by four runs. The Titans improve to 11-2. and two. Roan County falls to 2-6. and six. We'll break away. Come back, recap the ball game, have your statistics, and your will see start your auto parts, players of the game after this. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roan County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. We have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. D&D Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call D&D for your next service appointment. D&D Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and closed on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivv.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. 
Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License, 055775. This is Cassandra Sayer, Women's Health Provider at Roan County Family Health Care. As a board-certified women's health nurse practitioner, I specialize in providing care to women throughout the many phases of their lives. At Roan County Family Health Care, we provide confidential family planning services to anyone of the reproductive age and offer breast and cervical cancer screenings at no cost to individuals who are uninsured or underinsured through the BCCS program. From adolescent health care to preventive and contraceptive management, pregnancy testing and prenatal visits with pregnancy care after through menopause and beyond, the staff in the Women's Health Department at Roan County Family Health Care is here to serve you. Call 304-927-1719 to schedule an appointment today. Roan County Family Health Care, health and wellness for the whole family. If you're like I am, I forget that inspection sticker every time. Oh, no! When the time comes and you don't have time to go looking for a shop to get it done, stop looking and call Groves Auto Service in beautiful downtown Arnoldsburg, West Virginia. 304-655-6765. And don't look up and see those blue lights and hear that siren. Call Groves Auto Service for your appointment today. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Final score tonight, Roan County battled hard against a very good Gilmer County team who came in 10-2. and two. Raiders just 2-5. and five. Roan County held with this Gilmer County team. In fact, had the lead into the third inning. And then a couple of back-to-back -back solo home runs from Colton Hall. And Bryant Yoke tied it at three apiece. Roan County was blanked in the fourth, fifth, and sixth innings, respectively. Three up, three down as Gilmer County used a plethora of arms. They threw four arms here today in this seven-inning ball game. And they had a big fourth inning with five runs. That was the difference. Roan County blanked them in the fifth, sixth, and seventh. The Raiders got one back in the bottom of the seventh. Had a little of action working, but unable to... Uh, finish what would have been a pretty miracle comeback. Nonetheless, the Raiders a good battle here today in this one. Officially for Gilmer County, eight runs on eight hits. Three Roan County errors did not help the cause. Eight left on, all eight runs earned by the two pitchers for Roan County. Four runs for the Raiders on six hits, a pair of defensive errors for Gilmer County. Raiders left six on base, four of the runs were earned. Stewart, the starting pitcher for Gilmer County, went just one and a third innings. He'll take the no decision as he left with a tie ball game. Faced 11, struck out three, walked one, gave up four hits, three runs, all three were earned, and he hit a batter. Junkins will take the victory. He came in, worked three and two-thirds of relief. 11 batters faced, struck out four, did not walk a batter, did not give up a hit, a run, an earned run, and did not hit a batter. So he'll take the victory. Also, Brockelman came in for one inning of relief in the sixth, faced three batters, struck out one of them, gave up nothing else. It was a 1-2-3 then. Huffman finished it off for Yilmer in the bottom of the seventh. He came in for the one inning, faced six batters, struck out two, walked one, gave up a pair of hits and an earned run in his relief effort for Roan County. Although Saunders didn't have his best stuff tonight, he really did manage up until that fourth inning. Uh, fourth inning, he went three and two-thirds, faced 23 batters, struck out four, walked four, and hit a batter. He strung out five hits in the ball game, but he did give up eight runs. All eight were earned. Martin had a great day in relief. Three and a third innings of work, faced 14 batters, struck out three, did not walk a batter, and he stranded – or he's uh, – Separated three base hits in his innings of work. Did not give up an earned run or a run. Did not hit a batter in relief. So good outing for Nate Martin in relief. Offensively, a couple of uh, players with some good at-bats here. Carter Kinder took him till the seventh to get his first base hit. One for three, a pair of runs, another stolen base, and he was hit by a pitch. Cam Cumston, he had the bat working here today. Three for four, an RBI, a double, two stolen bases, and a run scored. Preston Green chipped in with a one-for-three performance with an RBI double back in the first. He also walked and 
Giants scored a run. Noah Jett, one for four with a single in this one. Jacob Greathouse, 0 for two with a walk. Jeb Painter goes 0 for three. Carson Casto, 0 for one. He was hit by a pitch early. And then Nate Martin got one at bat, 0 for one. Sawyer Hunt, 0 for two. Mitchell Arner got one at bat in the seventh. He was 0 for one. Gage Saunders, 0 for three on the afternoon. Those are your statistics. We'll break away one final time for Willard Sea Starcher Auto Parts. We'll come back, wrap things up with our Player of the Game Awards, and we'll talk about our next sports broadcast after this. The sun is shining, the peepers are singing, and the grass is a-growing. Spring has sprung, and now's the time to get your mower up and running. It won't be long until that grass is going to need a mowing. The first shipment of fresh batteries has arrived at Willard Sea Starchers just in time to kick off their annual lawn and garden battery sale. Stop by Willard Starchers today and get powered up with a fresh battery at a great price. Help this mowing season run smoothly by adding a can of seafoam to your fuel tank before you crank that engine. Come on down to the annual spring lawn and garden battery cell and let Willard Starchers put some spring in your step. Give us a call, 927-2520, open seven days a week. We welcome you back to Leo Hines Field. Final score here this evening in the LKC East. Gilmer County improving to 11 and 2 with the victory over Roan County, who is now 2 and 6. Final score 8 to 4. Good battle, though, for Roan County again. They fight the good teams and they're fighting them hard. Hopefully, that pays dividends as the year progresses, getting into the postseason. Time now for George Allen to distribute our oh, Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts defensive and offensive players of the game here tonight. Well, you know, defensively, um, we've got to go to Martin. Um, he faced, um, well, he, he pitched three in a third inning. He faced uh, 14 batters, had three strikeouts. There was three hits. But, uh, you know, that seventh inning, when uh, they smacked that one right back <laughs> at him, uh, he was on his knees to keep that one from hitting him. But uh, he snagged it right out of the air. Ended up with Definitely a double off. has to go to him for the defensive player of the game. Yeah, we needed a, we needed no runs in that inning, and that double off with the double play for him helped Ex secure it. Exactly. And Cam uh, Cumston going to be our offensive player of the game. Um, I can't read your chicken went, scratch. He went three for four with yeah. an RBI. There we go. A double, a pair of stolen bases, and a run score. That's that's what I call a partridge in a pear tree. Exactly. And, you know, um, he he had his bat working tonight. Yeah, the first two at bats, you could see. He yeah. was seeing the ball well and uh, ripped a couple of singles. They got that <laughs> big, deep double score run as well when Roan Kenny needed to try to get back into it. So congratulations to Nate Martin and Cam Cumston, our Willow Chief Starcher Auto Parts players of the game. Weather permitting, We'll be back in action tomorrow. We'll head over to Calhoun County for Lady Raider softball action. That's a scheduled 5.30 start, but again, it just depends on the wild, wonderful West Virginia weather. Uh, and, George, you've been looking at the radar. You've been looking at our <laughs> forecast for the week. Right. Uh, we're not going to say good, bad, or ugly here. We're just going to hope. Uh, that's about the best we can do, cross our fingers and our toes and see what happens from there. And, again, weather permitting, Roan County be back in action. Boys baseball, they'll head to Webster County on Thursday for a 5 p.m. contest in the Little Canal Conference. Once again, we will be there with coverage, weather permitting. Appreciate you all joining us on our YouTube and Facebook feeds here of Raider Boys Baseball Action for all of us here at WVRC. Our good buddy Swolby providing the graphics and the beautiful scoreboard. And uh, George Allen, great job here for your first time back. Hey, you know, like I said, it's been 30 years. <laughs> for all of us here, I'm Andrew Miller. We'll see you all.